Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Getting a look at uh, the skies over Orville early on today. Sunrise not going to happen until 656 AM this morning, but we are seeing a beautiful shot here. You can see the lake in the foreground and the twinkling lights of Orville in the background early on this morning. It does look like it's going to be a beautiful start to the day. It's also going to though, get warmer though for your Tuesday afternoon. A toasty end of the summer season is on tap for the rest of the work week, and then we do have a cooling trend on the way for the start of the fall season. The fall season officially starts Saturday evening. The first full day of fall on Sunday does start to get a little cooler. Now right now we're seeing temperatures in the low 50s for most of the valley mid 50s right now for Orville 53 degrees for Chico Willows and Corning 52 in Red Bluff and 50 in Redding to start off your morning. Higher elevations we're seeing 29 degrees right now for Alturas 32 degrees for Chester. So we have dipped to the freezing mark in a couple of cities and frost will likely be an issue for some drivers this morning. So give yourself a couple of extra minutes to scrape that windshield. Higher elevations mostly seeing 30s to low 40s and we are seeing low 50s for the foothills starting out your Tuesday. Winds are out of the northeast and calm early on today in most areas. Right now, Red Bluff seeing winds picking up a little bit over the last hour. Right now, six miles an hour it was three miles an hour about a half an hour ago. Three miles an hour for Willows. Winds are going to shift briefly out of the north today and then out of the west for the afternoon and mostly stay light for today. So under five miles an hour. Winds not expected to be a big issue for fire danger on this Tuesday. However, lower humidity and hotter temperatures, that's going to play a role in fire danger. Getting a look at what we're seeing on the satellite and radar, some thin clouds brushing through the northwest corner of the state. That's about all we're going to see from the clouds for today. We are going to expect to see high pressure dominating your forecast through the end of the week. Dry uh, weather on the way and hotter temperatures heading through as high pressure persists late this week into the weekend. We do see a cooler system looming out in the Pacific. That's going to make its way overhead to the north late on Friday through Sunday, and that's going to be responsible for a modest but very welcome cooling trend for the start of the fall season. And we do stay dry through your weekend as well. Getting a look at the valley today, mid 50s at 6 a.m. Temperatures in the high 70s to low 80s by noon, then topping out briefly in the mid to high 80s this afternoon. Mountain areas starting out mostly in the 30s this morning, high 60s by noon today. Temperatures then top out in the mid 70s to mid 80s for your Tuesday afternoon. And your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Mid 80s for today, then low 90s Wednesday through Saturday. So the end of September or the end of summer, I should say, is going to be a hotter one. Back to the mid to high 80s for your first two days of fall, Sunday into Monday. Redding, high 80s for today, low to mid 90s Wednesday through Saturday for the final days of summer. Then back down to the high 80s for Sunday into Monday of your extended forecast. Megan and Julia, 